Hey, happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. I'm Sarah Simmons, director and co-founder of Made by Survivors, and I'm here today with our partner from Apple of God's Eye in Nepal, Rose and Silvio Silva. And they run Apple of God's Eye, which is an amazing organization, which is helping trafficked children and very high-risk children in Nepal and all over the country. They're doing education and prevention programs, as well as operating six shelters and helping thousands of children uh, to rebuild their lives and to build a safe and happy future. So hi guys, hi. so glad you're here. How does education help a girl that's been trafficked and how does education help a, a girl or boy who is at very high risk? Uh, the children in Nepal, they have very few opportunities to go to school mm -hmm. and that make it the easier way to traffickers to act in their community. I was interacting with uh, some girls who already uh, got into the trafficking and they came back to Nepal and why, I asked them why you got trafficked and all of them start with the same sentence. All of them start saying, I was not studying, I was not studying, I was not at school, I was not studying. In that way, uh, if the children are studying, the chance to be trafficked will be lesser. Mm. So what, what happens when a girl has been trafficked and she's returned to you at your home and you put her in school? How does that change the girl? Yeah, it changes very much because when they come, they come without hope mm -hmm. and without trusting anybody. Mm -hmm. And when they come, we give them uh, security, love, and a new perspective of life. And they have uh, hope again to be somebody. And they are happy again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. awesome. One of the very special things um, that I love about Apple of God's Eye is that the program is run partly by girls, young women, mm -hmm. who have been in this program and have been raised and have been empowered and are very, very strong. And one of the things those girls are doing, they're going to the villages. And uh, can you tell me about that? If we go to villages, some villages, very affected by trafficking, if we go say we are anti-trafficking organization, will not be welcome there because the traffickers, they prepare the people of villages to refuse the anti-trafficking organization. But the girls, they go with a different, uh, different task. They go to teach people how to write, how to read, and they teach children in schools. And that is very great because the girls themselves are working against the trafficking. And when they work, I say, why you are working? Why you want to work? And they say, we want to save our sisters. Mm -hmm. And the many girls who came from uh, Brussels and repatriated, now they want to open a school, they want to go villages and they do their work. I told them, why? They told them, I want to save my sisters. I don't like they stay and they get what I got. I like to avoid that. That is wonderful. It is wonderful. It's hope lifting. And the reason that these young women are able to have such important roles and have this leadership is because they've had an excellent education. Because through education, they they can uh, answer. Uh, they can have sure they have a future. Mm -hmm. And if we educate somebody there, and we are assuring them they can be somebody tomorrow, and th then you are very important for us because you are helping. Uh, those children who are not educated to have opportunity to study and to be a doctor, a lawyer, everything tomorrow, whatever they want to be. It's not only money, but the support, the love, the, the involvement is very important. I would like to say thank you for Made by Survive and thank you for all of you who are part of it, who are helping Made by Survivors to help us. And that is great and the children are being helped really and they, they are in good way. And thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. If you support Made by Survivors through sponsorship or buying jewelry or being part of our Facebook community or donating in any way, you've been able to be part of this change. We thank you so much. And if you've been inspired by Sylvia and Rose, as I am, then maybe if you're not sponsored, you might want to check that out, the Education Fund. It, you can either do $30 a month, which pays for um, school fees, Mm -hmm. Lunch, they call it a tiffin. Lunch <laughs> and uh, the books and some helps with things like shoes and uniforms yeah. and everything, everything, even mm -hmm. some 
contribution to the shelter. Or if you, if you aren't ready to do that, you can make a donation of any kind. Um, the prevention program in the villages, it's only $8 a month, so any amount would be very helpful. And sure. thank you so much, and happy holidays, or happy new year, if we keep running this video then. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you so much.